Greetings to all of humanity. It's really a joy, it's a pleasure to be here another day greeting you and bringing this message of emancipation to you. A message that would set you free by pointing you to look inwardly to discover that your real identity is your divinity. And this truth is what was taught to Neville Gallen by his mentor, Abdullah the Black Mystic from Ethiopia. And I just want to reiterate the message that Abdullah would have taught Neville Gallen so that we would realize that we are all one and that we are all connected. The thing I want to point out to you right now is that there is one God but many faces. And that was what Abdullah taught Neville Gallen when he taught him that all is consciousness and that there is only one universal consciousness. Now, Neville was studying with Abdullah for over five years. He would have brought up in secular Christianity, having grew up in Barbados, which is a colony of England and also a third world country in the Caribbean because these parts, they refer to these parts as third world country. And most of the people, they have a religious mentality and they believe in education more than their imagination, the way how they were brought up and the way they were taught. That's the reason why someone like me who's bringing a message like this to wake up humanity, those in my country and around the Caribbean, 99.9% .9 of them will call me crazy. They will call me a, a, a crazy man, a madman. And that was one thing that I've come to realize when I awake from the dream of life and realize that I was brainwashed from a little child to believe in a God outside of myself and to believe in division and separation. And so when Neville experienced for himself that God is his imagination, when Abdullah taught him how to use his imagination to create his reality consciously and he proved it for himself. He decided to lecture to the world and to tell them to look no other place but to look inwardly to discover that their real identity is their divinity and that the truth of the Bible is that there is only one creator, one Lord and Master and that one creator is our imagination which is actually the creator in each and every one and that's why St. John 1 3 says without your imagination there isn't anything made that was made and that all things was made by him which is who is that him that him is your imagination which is the immortal man the invisible man so when we look around we see many different races we see the Chinese we see the Japanese we see the, 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 the Negro, we see the, 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 the white, you, you, you know what I'm talking about, the different races, as we were told. And they have different faces in terms of different looks. But yet, there's only one universal consciousness. Yet, there's only one infinite mind, and all is connected to that infinite mind. That is why each and every one of us depend on the same power to put us to sleep and to wake us up. And everything that we depend upon in this world, doesn't matter what is your complexion, if your skin, it doesn't matter what is your race, it doesn't matter your nationality. It all begins with a thought. It was first imagined. It was first an idea. Everything that we depend upon, it came that way. Even when you read the Genesis story and say that God said, let there be and there was, it is teaching you that a word is a thought expressed and everything begins with a thought because you cannot speak and it wasn't first a thought. So my brother and my sisters, everything you see on the outside is an expression of that which is on the inside because all things exist in, your, in the human imagination. And the reason why I'm saying the human imagination is because we, our spirit, have been a human experience. So in this experience, we realize that we are here to discover who we are because we were all born in amnesia, which is a state of forgetfulness.
For none of us could remember when we were one week old or two weeks or uh, even one month or uh, four months, five months, six months, up to 12 months, you cannot remember and I can go on, okay? And so because of that, we are here to discover who we are and the universal question of life will all be who am I? And when the answer comes, it must be I am that I am. I am whatever I believe myself to be. For as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. But the main point I want to get across to you, my brother and my sisters, is that there is only one God. And when I talk about God, I'm talking about the creative power in man. I am talking about the infinite. I am talking about the invisible you. Because there's only one invisible you. All of us have the same kingdom. For the kingdom of God is within you. Therefore, you should never allow anyone to say, Lo here and Lo there. Because the kingdom of God is within you. And so, while Neville grew up hearing, hearing from his parents, his teachers, his pastors, his politicians, saying to him, Lo here, Lo there. Because they've been pointing him to believe in a God, a, a power outside of himself. There comes along Abdullah when Nebel had this burning desire to travel to Barbados and he had no money. He had no work. But Abdullah taught him how to trust his imagination. He taught him that imagination is God in man. And how that there is only one God but many faces. So my brother and my sisters, that is why Nebel was able to tell you that everyone is your own self pushed out. And when you look in the Bible, you see in Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and 11, it tells you that God has downloaded the world in the mind of man. And when you look at a computer or you look at a flash drive, you realize everything that is downloaded in the flash drive. You cannot look at the flash drive and see it. But when you, you plug it into the computer, it will reveal everything. So everything is downloaded in you because you are first of all invisible. So you have an inner man and an outer man. The outer man is just the expression of the inner man. So you, you, your body is the visible soul. And, 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 and your, your soul, as in, is the, as the inner man, is the invisible body. And that is why, my brother and my sisters, at the time of death, the invisible you comes out of this house, make of dirt, dirt, and they take the dirt and they carry it back to the dust of the ground. Because God, the temple that God lives in, is a temple made from dirt, this body. And that is why it is said that he was wrapped in a robe dipped in blood. This is the robe that dipped in blood. So you're just wearing this robe for a certain time. So this, this is not you. You must not identify yourself with this body as your true essence, but identify yourself with the inner power to achieve your every desire to the limitless you. There's a side of you that is limitless. And that's why it tells you that when you get to heaven, that there will be no dying there. There will be no hunger, no thirst, no grief. It is when you come to realize that your body is actually heaven. Heaven is a body, not a geographical place. It is a body because whatever you imagine in that body, it is possible. So if you want to walk on the streets of gold, it be streets of gold because you, everything in this world is imaginary. As a matter of fact, we are living in an imaginary world. It's not real as some people believe. It is real. It's not a solid as some people believe. That it is, it's a solid. And unfortunately, some people never experience what I'm speaking here about until they have an outer body experience. Like what would have happened to me? Like having the board from the skull. And Neville, after he would have put what Abdullah would have taught him to work and he proved it and he continued to walk in it. Then he had the experience of the bone from the skull also. And that's why he knew that there is only one God and many faces. So we are all one, we are all connected. So racism and all of these things are for people who are ignorant. 
separation and division and so on is for people who are, who are ignorant. And when you put your mind to work with the belief that God is your imagination, that which you desire, that which you imagine, it can be fulfilled by people from any part of the world coming to play their part in your life to make it, uh, make it possible. So it can be anyone from any race who will work on your behalf to make it possible. So my brother and my sisters, when you look at your physical body make up of millions and millions of, uh, of cells, okay? And these cells form tissues and so on and make this one, 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 one body. But there, there's, there's so much I have to come together to give you this one body. It's the same thing. We are the body of Christ. And Christ is your higher self, your God self, that Christ consciousness. And that is why Abdullah taught never how to come into the Christ consciousness and to have the understanding that God and man are one. And that God in man is man's imagination. For the eternal body of man is the imagination. And that is God himself. There's no other God. There's no God in the sky, God is not a man in the sky. There's no God outside of yourself. You have to redeem yourself. You have to save yourself. You have to provide for yourself. You have to heal yourself by using your mind to heal yourself because everything else that you would ever look to for healing, it comes from the mind of a man. It was first imagined. Everything that the doctor would use in a hospital, it was first a thought, it was an idea. It came from the mind of a man. Doesn't matter what. All the medication, the pharmacy came from the mind. They all came. Even if they take it from nature and put it in a synthetic form, it was first a thought. Still, they had to think about it. So my brother and my sisters, it's all mental. It's all psychological. And remember, the power in you is God. For God is life and life is God. And you can never separate God from life or life from God. But many people believe God to be a man somewhere in the sky. Someone that is higher than themselves. But the self of man is God. So with that being said, my brother and my sister, I just want to encourage you to accept your God self, embrace your God self, and see God in everyone. And never see otherwise but God in everyone. And that it is God that is playing all the parts. That is why you're told that I am God and there is no other. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. You can find that in Deuteronomy 32, 39, I believe. And then in Isaiah chapter 45, was it 5 to 7? You can check it out for yourself, okay? Uh, that's what I believe. Yeah, I think it is uh, Isaiah 45, 5 to 7. It says that I create the good and I create evil. I create darkness and I create light. See, and it also says that I am God and there is no other. My brother and my sister, do you realize whenever you say I am, that you're referring to yourself? You can never say I am and not referring to yourself. And the name of God is I am from generation to generation. That's your memorial. So my brother, my sisters, always speak positively whenever you affirm your I am. Always have the, something positive to say after I am because that's your name. Because you are God in flesh. So with that being said, my brother, my sisters, I want to thank you very much for listening to me. And I want to say to you, if this is the very first time that you're listening to me and what I'm saying makes sense to you, I would like to say to you, if you haven't subscribed already, to subscribe, to like, to comment, or to share this video. But before I leave you, I just want to remind you that this message I bring to you, that it is the single eye message of self-realization, of which Matthew 6.22 says that if I be single, your whole body be full of light. And it was not until my whole body was filled with light, when the single eye awakes within me, that I would have come to realize that we all are God in flesh. For hadn't it been that I would have ascended like a fire being and burst my crown chakra after I would have heard the unearthly wind and came out of my skull and became invisible, I would never understand that my real identity is my divinity. And that is why, my brother and my sisters, I will always say to you when the Bible says that you shall change from mortal to immortality in a twinkling of an eye, that twinkling of an eye is an opening of an eye. And when it happened to you, you will come to realize that it is the rising of the S-U-N in a S-O-N. 
and that it is the dawning of a new day in your life. For the sun as in the S-U-N parallels the human imagination and the human imagination parallels the sun. For without the sun there is no life and there is no light. And without the human imagination there isn't anything made that was made. And you are told in Psalm 84, 11, that the Lord thy God is a sun and a shield, and no good thing will he withhold from you. And truly, the sun has never withhold any good thing from humanity, for the sun is what powers all of humanity and gives all of humanity its energy. Also, in Malachi chapter 1, verse 2, you are told that the sun, as in the S-U-N, of righteousness shall arise in you with healing in his wings. And truly, when the sun has risen in me, I am bringing healing to all of humanity, pointing all to look inwardly and to use your mind power, which is your solar power, your sun power, your God power, your creative power, which is actually the sexual power. Use that power to achieve your every desire. For that was the message taught to Neville Gala by Abdullah, our ancestor, the black mystic from Ethiopia. So with that being said, I want to say peace, love you all, I'm out.